was it like making liquor back in that time when you were making it back then? Back then, it was hard as shit. See, we, we left her house, which was here. And we walked down this little knoll and up this little knoll, up to the graveyard. Then we went out that ridge and off to the right. And I mean, it was straight off like that. <coughs> she had a name <coughs> for every place up there on that mountain. That particular place where we made liquor, she called it the Holly Holler. Because there's holly bushes down there, them old wild holly bushes. Well, we went down and we, she had a little 35 gallon pot. I call them piss pots. I'd, I'd been used to pulling with something bigger. Because the first never started with was a 50. Then the men her started making it on a 35. I thought, well, hell, that's going downhill until they're coming up. So uh, we went off there and we dug out a hole back in the bank and set that pot. I took an old steel barrel and cut the head out of both ends of it and slid it up against that pot. And took rocks and mud and dirt, and whatever, and packed around it. And you build a fire in this steel barrel and that heat goes around that pot and there's an opening at the back of it lets the smoke go out of it. We went down and we sweetened it in. Went and run it. Of course, it didn't make nothing on the first run. Hell, you'd, on 35 gallon, hell, we didn't get but a gallon. That was good on the first beginning, as she always called it. So we, we run that we run that damn thing on the first run, didn't get about a gallon. Hell, we drunk that in two days. But uh, when we went back, we sweetened that damn thing in. It made three gallons. That's what it's supposed to make anyway. But according to what your slop is, according to how much liquor you're going to make. If you got good, good beer or mash or slop or whatever you want to call it, well, you'll have some good liquor. It's, it, it, your liquor is not made in the steel; it's made in the barrel. Is that if right? you if you if your mash ain't no good, your liquor ain't no good. So, we we run sweet mash first run, put her back in the barrel, had a fifty-five gallon oak barrel. It was in somewhere around July and it good weather. So you can't make liquor in the winter time. It, it, the weather's got all in the world to do with it. If the weather ain't right, you don't make no liquor. But we went back and sweetened it in. Next time we run it got we got three gallons, I believe it was. Good high liquor. Well, we put it back on the third time. Shit, we done real good that time. We got four gallons on a 35 gallon pot, and that's a half a gallon more than what you're supposed to get. So we're doing good, shitting in high cotton. We made dirt for a long time in the holly holler. Lisa used to dance by the thump keg, but I reckon it makes you keep time with it. Yeah, she called it the thump keg waltz. Yeah, she drank her about two of them vein or sausage cans full of right straight off that worm. She's tough. Then she'd start doing the thump keg walk. She'd hit every lick that did. <laughs> she starts off something real slow, she'd go. Then she'd keep getting faster. And you ought to see her, hit something else. I mean, even when we get done, I was a lot stouter back then than I am now. I'd, uh, she'd hang on the back of my overhaul because she'd be drunker than hell. And I'd have a load of liquor tied on my back with to in tow sacks. And she'd hang on to my overhaul and I'd drag her up that damn laurel thicket. And when we got to the top, she'll say, well, now I don't need your pulling no more now. Then we'd go into the house, 
And then, by God, both of us would get drunk. One night, Ben Lethe is down there drunk in hell. She, sleep, she slept in the back room, and I slept on the couch in the living room. One night, we sat there, and sometimes we'd get talking nasty. I said, Lethe, I said, a man, when he gets so old, I said, he quits wanting it, don't he? She said, I've heard the dead. I said, well, now, how old does a woman have to get before she quits wanting it? She said, damn if I know you let that somebody older than me, and she's about 80 years old when she said that. <laughs>